okay so now we will go for the problem number 7 draw the isometric projection of hexagonal prism of side of base 40 mm and height 60 mm with the right circular cone of base 40 mm as diameter and altitude 50 mm resting on its top such that the axis of both solids are collinear. So in this case we have two solids one is hexagonal prism having 40 mm sides height 60 mm another one is a cone of base diameter 40 mm and height height is given in terms of altitude height 50 mm so first we have hexagonal prism above that we have a uh, right circular cone and both the axes are at the collinear that means it's supposed to be in the same line so we'll go for the solution now so whenever we have hexagon and pentagon we are supposed to draw the orthographic view so we'll go for it so let us construct the hexagon uh, here also we have the same problem 40 mm sides so hexagon can be constructed in a lot of ways some people can use macros so here i'll go with the circle method 40 mm so we'll go for 80 mm so this is one of the way to construct the hexagon See, as you can see, easily you can consider the hexagon. So, convert that into a box. We will go with the thin line from your line, from your horizontal line, again, from your horizontal line, from your vertical line. Use the trim tool to trim the unwanted lines. These extra lines easily you can trim. Now we'll go for the dimensions. So we'll measure each dimension, especially the first one, the side length 40 mm. Here we have the base 40 mm. Rest of that is not required because it will be equal. As you can see here also, it will be 20 only and remaining it is similar so i don't have to go for the measurements now i'll start with i'll name it first one two three four so we have all 10 now we'll start with this starting from one you can start with an horizontal line or directly you can start with the hexagon, anything is fine. So 34.64 length, angle supposed to be 30 degree. Then again 34.64, enter, angle it should be 30 degree. Now 3 to 4 would be 20, 20, 150, 40, 150, again. 20 150 now it is 34.64 minus 150 again 34.64 minus 150 again 20 minus 30 and 40 minus 30 remaining supposed to be 20 angle supposed to be minus so we'll get it like this now we'll go for the thick line and the black line so here not all the uh, edges or all the points we form the hexagon this is one here we have two that's three here we have four here we have five and this end will be having six and in the middle we'll be having seven we'll be having eight over here and nine here so at last we will be having 10 here, go to line, take the thick line, 
so here with the end point 2 and uh, end point 4 fifth end point seven end point eight end point point ten back to so this is hexagonal prism base now you have to get the height of this so since the height is given as 60 so i'll take any one of the corner with the end point of this it's supposed to be 60 and it's vertical so 90 degree so you'll get it like this 60 90 so here the side length will be <coughs> here the side length will be 40 okay now uh, we'll copy the x7 move this from this end till turn on the copy command keep it here now join from this corner to this corner this corner to this corner this corner to this corner so we have an hexagonal prism you can delete the internal lines or you can make it thin anything is fine now we have the hexagon so this all construction is you can delete that now find the center by drawing the diagonal so i'll draw with the thin line and the center is the construction line we will go with the thin lines so the center point will be the midpoint you can see if i draw three diameters or diagonals so here i'll have the exact center you can take the height and you can construct the cone so here above this i have, I have to construct a cone to construct the cone i need to base diameter it is 40 and the altitude is 50 m so first i will keep this as it is i will start with the cone cone will uh, uh, to construct the cone it look like an ellipse so a circular cone so it is look like an ellipse and it should be 40 so i will say with 40 30 40 150 40 minus 150 and 40 minus 30 once you got this corner to the opposite edge midpoint 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 go with arc by center point take a thick line black line keeping this as center taking this as radius draw the arc similarly Keeping this intersection as a center, taking this as a radius. Sometimes you will not be able to get it easily. Right. So keeping this as a center, taking this as a radius. Product, keeping this as a center, taking this as a radius. Yes, so now we have a circular base. Find the center by drawing the diagonal. Once again, I can just draw the diagonal, and it's supposed to be construction line, so it is thin line. Now take the height of this from the if from the altitude is 50, therefore height is 50, 90. So it is a vertical line. So it should be axis. So I'll make it into chain thin and thin. Okay, now you can select this. Go to move, pick up the center, place it exactly like this. And you can turn off the copy, place it exactly like this. Okay, now this is not yet a uh, uh, cone yet. So select this, draw the tangent as you can see there. Tangent indication, you can draw tangent like this. Select this end, end point, and for you it is tan. Once you draw that, you can internal lines, you can make it into thin lines, it is, you can make it into invisible line. As you can see, there are two more lines which should be okay. Now 
we have to convert this into ISO. Before that, let us trim this internal one. So I'll, I'll go for zoom. Select this area. I'll use uh, split command. I'll select this. Select this. I'll select this point. I'll, so I'll select this. I'll select this point. Select both of this and just go with the thin lines and make it into three colors so it should not be visible once again this head on line either you can trim it or you can make it into thin line anything is fine then make it into thin line right this is uh, not yet isometric scale so select this entirely go for scale factor so here scale 0 0.8164 press enter you can place it exactly where it was before okay so this completes the top now what are the dimensions that you have to show means usually you can show this 30 degree on either side this and this and you can also show the axis height of this whatever the axis we have for this click over here now just convert this into make it into plan more here the axis attitude is given as 50 therefore i will just take it as iso 50 that's okay So yes, so there's the problem.